Hey everyone, it's Og George and welcome back to Let's Play Guacamelee. So uh, here we are in the Temple of Rain. We have to use our kick to get out of that little situation. And uh, another swirly portal. Let's go through it. Oh, it's opened up a way forward for us. And another swirly portal. Lots more sparkles. Yeah, that's uh, just to, I guess, uh, get you accustomed to uh, the mechanic here of these uh, Land of the Living, Land of the Dead portals. Uh, before we continue on, let's go over here. Uh, this chest is a pain to get now, so much easier to get later, but I'm going to attempt to get it now. So uh, let's hop up here, hop up there, there we go. Uh, it was a lot harder when I uh, practiced this first part of the game to uh, make sure recording was working and all that. But uh, yeah, I managed to get it at that time quite quickly, so uh, let's make our way out of there. Another chunk of stamina for us, and continue onwards. So yet more sparkly platforms, and we can, yes, transport to the world of the dead and the world of the living to... Uh, change up those platforms. So uh, there is a sparkly, swirly portal, sorry, over there, but let's go through this door first. Uh, actually, you know what, let's change costume while we're here. Uh, can we buy anything? No, we've only got 825, so we'll change costume. Let's uh, go into the Pollo Luchador costume. So uh, a giant chicken, what more can be said? Uh, health regenerates over time, which is nice. Stamina regenerates more slowly, which is not so nice, but uh, we'll do that. Uh, all of the costumes except for uh, download costumes and your simple uh, swap into the other character have uh, various benefits and downsides. So uh, those are the benefits and downsides of this particular costume. You get health regeneration but uh, stamina is slower. Which is probably not a great costume to put on now but uh, it's the next one on the list so uh, there we go. That giant monster up there, he's sleeping for now thankfully. Uh, uh, uh we woke him up! Okay, phew, he's gone back to sleep. Yeah, he doesn't look too nice does he? So let's carry on up these platforms. Up we go. Just a giant chicken because that's the way this game rolls. Okay then. Uh, this guy, you'll notice he's all in white. We can't hit him because he's in the other he's in the other world. So he was in the land of the living while we were in the land of the dead. And conversely, if they're black, that means they're in the land of the dead when you're in the land of the living. So uh, for now, we have to use these portals to uh, switch between the two and to kill them off. And there's our particle for us. Thank you very much. Uh, health, I don't need that. Who needs health? Fire attacks cannot be dodged. These guys will, uh, these armadillo guys will roll into a ball and launch a, a fire attack at you. I think, uh, no, okay. There you go, like that one on the right there is doing. Uh, I don't know quite how I know how I managed to do that, but uh, uh, as with pretty much any other enemy, these guys can be thrown, so don't be afraid to. Oh, there we go, that one's uh, in the other world, and this unfortunately makes this part uh, rather annoying. But as soon as that one's done, we can switch over and kick this guy's backside. There we go. So, uh, dodge roll will do nothing for fire attacks. Let's grab our party ball and move on. Uh, go down through here, dodge roll through these. Uh, simple stuff. Uh, can't get up here. Can't quite get up there. So, instead, we've got to climb over this guy. Luckily, he's sleeping pretty soundly, and we can get straight through. And so here is another chooser set you. <laughs> Notice our goat is perched on top of it. Not anymore. Holy guacamole! Dude, why well, you gotta go and break my chooser statue perch? That was my perch, man. Oh well, time to teach you the new move you just got from the statue. I call this bad boy the goat jump. It's easy breezy. Press A when you hit a wall to goat jump. My friends told me to call this sweet move a wall jump, but that didn't feel goaty enough. And so, FWC warning, we're about to get the thing. Goat jump! Yeah, uh, as he said, it's a wall jump. He calls it a goat jump, but it's a wall jump. Press A for wall to goat jump, like so. There you go. That doesn't take any of your stamina, it's just a wall jump. Well, that doesn't sound too good. I'm glad we weren't in the room when uh, that happened. And uh, yeah, plenty of destruction has gone on. We can't actually get down through the thing, but that's okay because we have wall jumps over here and a giant chicken. You can't pull the feathers over my eyes. I see that disguise, luchador. Yeah, uh, when you're in uh, chicken costume, the giant chickens will say something different. There is an achievement for talking to all the giant chickens while in the chicken costume. I haven't done that yet, but uh, yeah. He says something else about wall jumps if you're not just a chicken. He says something like you can hold A for a bigger jump or something like that. Uh, oh no, that's right, he teaches you about, uh, if you're holding Y, you will stay in place on the wall, if you're not, you'll slide down the wall. I think that's what he teaches you. So, uh, there you go, I've taught you that. And that's, 
Uh, that's useful in this room. Oh, uh, I don't know why I went that way. I'm supposed to go this way. Uh, go down here. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. There we go, through that room. Here yeah, a few wall jump puzzles uh, now in this dungeon. What is through here? It's back where we came from, so rubble is what's through here. As you will eventually see, there we go. Nothing we can do about the rubble. Absolutely nothing. That will stay there forever. So if you want to get to uh, where everything is, you've got to go uh, around. You've got to go and wall jump up there. Anyway, let's go back through this door. Now, we could wall jump up there, but there is another skill we need to get, so let's go through this portal and uh, through this convenient door that's appeared. Now we've gone through there. Uh, oh, come on. Thank you. And again, through these portals we can... Oi! There we go. Through those portals we can do... Uh, we can change up platforms. That's, what I, that's the words I was looking for. Sometimes you don't want to change up the platforms, as evidenced there. So, uh, you want to... Oh, come on. I'm trying to do the move. That's how you do the move. Okay. Uh, oh, come on! <laughs> Only problem with using the analog stick is that sometimes the game isn't a hundred percent sure which direction you mean when you're trying to do a special. Uh, anyway, have we got enough cash to? We could buy the respawn boost, but that's pointless. So uh, let's not bother. Uh, okay, yep, I know what's that way. What's this way? It's an arena. Uh, three you over there, and three you. Guts, there we go. What's next? Oh, that's it. A very simple little arena. And we get a stamina chunk out of that. So, uh, well, uh, a stamina chunk, uh, uh, a piece of a stamina chunk, I suppose. Just say, I don't know, a piece of skull out of that. So, uh, oh, hold on. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, yeah, it's a bit hot here. I forgot to close the window. So, for the last two or three parts, you might have heard some noise. Anyway, oh no, we've got skeletons throwing things at us. Better use these portals. There, this is... <laughs> I don't know what is up with this room, but, uh... Oh, oh dang it. I'd hoped I'd get away without any damage there. Oh, well. Get some health back from the, uh, costume. Can't dodge roll through those, uh, bones there. Here we get our party ball. And you'll notice our health is already regenerated, thanks to the, uh, chicken costume. These chests, uh, some of them are money, some of them are enemies. I can't remember which are which, so I'm just gonna bust open them. That was money. That's an enemy. There we go. That's why I don't care because they're easy to dispatch. There you go, and that one is another one. So, there you go, look, I got 20 money bonus from that. Oh! I was going to say, you're supposed to be dead. 20 money bonus from uh, that particular combo, so it was well worth it. This guy is a giant uh, guy who, obviously the big glowing red point is his weak spot. Uh, don't let him hit you, he hits hard. Oh, get out of the way. He's not too bad on his own. It's when there's other enemies around that uh, can be a bit of a pain. There we go. Smashed him. Enemies in the other world obviously don't get affected by your throws either. So, you know, just something to bear in mind. So, now I switch to there. All taken care of. And of course, we get a party for that. And this was unblocked for us, so uh, another chooser statue. Huzzah! And this time, our goat man just sort of appears out of nowhere, as he will most of the time when you break one. Dude, seriously, stop breaking my stuff. I gotta agree, but uh, it gives us gives us powers, so seriously. Whatever, time to teach you the Omex headbutt. It's easy cheesy. Press B while standing still to send us a skeleton sky high. And there it is, the Ormix headbutt. Uh, apologies, I forgot to warn for the epilepsy warning, but uh, you get it by now that there's going to be uh, one of those each time, so uh, uh, I think it says something about my mother. I'm not sure I didn't catch it. Uh, can I talk to him again? I can. Use Breezy headbutt. Stuff. Man, easy Breezy. So there you go. And uh, let's get health chunk three while I'm here. I think he, the uh, you can only buy yeah max, so you can only buy three of each of the uh, particular chunks. 
you can do the headbutt while you're uh, stood. So, uh, and this is going to teach us actually, you can, as I said before, you can do uh, combos of more than one special while you're in the air. So I can do the uppercut and then the headbutt in one go. So, there we go, get through there. And I'm out of stamina already, you see, because uh, the penalty for the chicken costume is that the stamina regenerates. So, so there you go. And there we go, we're back here, ready to do uh, this and go through here. Now that we have both the wall jump, which we need to get up there, I'll show you, like that. Uh, there's something at the top that needs the headbutt as well, but I think there was something down here that wanted the headbutt. So, uh, yes there was, and I missed it, of course. So let's quickly go get that. Not sure what's in here. Uh, usually it's uh, just a little, uh, yeah, I was going to say a little bonus, some money or a health block or some such. Uh, nice to have if you happen to spot those sorts of things as you're going through. Uh, do do try and be sure to get them. Uh, there are some that obviously you need to come back for, and I probably won't. So uh, there you go. Look, it tells you that there's a headbutt thing there. Uh, was off to the right then. Oh, that's right. This room is impossible until later in the game. You need a, a different power to be able to get through that room because uh, you can't actually get there in the world of the dead as you'd need to start it because that uh, portal is right in the way. What's through here? There's a save guy and... Ah! Here's a handy Ormic kid. So, uh, would you like to take a trip? Yes, I'll take a trip. So, uh, it gives us the world map and as you can see, we've got an Ormic kid here and we've got one at Santa Lucita. Uh, I'm not going to use it just yet. Uh, cancel out of that. Maybe next time, bud. See you later. Uh, we'll be using that a little bit later. So, uh, I'll show you then. For now, up we go up here. Oh, get you guys out of the way. Oh, there we go. And uh, a little bit of money for us. Oh, blimey. I don't like you, big guy. And up we will jump. Oh no. Uh, you know what? Fine. Ah, damn it, plant. There we go. <laughs> Getting big combos like this is uh, is uh, quite a fun part of the game until you sort of, uh, you know... Uh, your special moves, by the way, things like the uh, head button, the uppercut, do give you some points, but uh, they hit hard. And, and they hit harder, but uh, I just find the basic moves to be uh, quite good in getting combos. Anyway, let's go through here. Uh, I believe what I have to do here is go through and then do that, yes. Which is uh, a fun little time to try and do that in one go. Anyway, uh, up here we go through several portals which exist only to be pretty, I guess. Uh, what's through here? Okay, that, that room I know is mandatory, so let's go up here instead. Oh, nope, that's the way out. Okay then. So, uh, in here, this is where you really need to uh, learn the wall clinging, I think. And then this is one that I had a little bit of trouble with in my practice, but uh, obviously I did it there, so hopefully I can remember. Green sludge at the bottom, of course, will send you back to the beginning of the room. And there you go, we're through. That looks like it should lead to some kind of bonus, but it doesn't. It leads to the next part of the uh, level, actually, so uh, be aware of that. Oh! But there you go, you get plus two for the rooster uppercut. Why I'd want that when I can get plus two for a lower damage move and so get higher combo numbers, I don't know. Ah! There you go, get rid of you. Defeating an enemy obviously also gives you uh, a little bit of a boost. Anyway, a uh, piece of heart in here. I think that's an epilepsy warning. Yes it is. So, uh, another chunk of health. And that also restores your health, it looks like. So, we saw that earlier, so there's no point in going through there. But uh, nice to know that there's a shortcut back. And through here. Hey! It's uh, Shitabai again. Luchador! You haven't seen an Alabrija around here, have you? He's you. He, he's large, multicolored, looks like a fish mixed with a cat snake! He's about the size of a house! Ah, are you hiding him, Luchador? Every second I look is one more second Kalaka spends alone with that sacrificial trout! Ah. She's not happy. Hm. 
Sorry, you had to see that Luchador. Now I have to go find that stupid Alabrije. Next time we meet, maybe we can truly tank her. For now, she's gonna sick a bunch of enemies on us. So, uh... Luckily, if you die here, which I did do once or twice during uh, practice, it sends you back to her saying, next time we can tango rather than that whole conversation. Again, this game being very, very nice. There's some health in there. Uh, I accidentally smashed those. I didn't want to get hit by him, but oh well. And this is what I'm talking about when I say that these uh, big guys are a bit of a pain when other enemies are around. But uh, generally, if you just take care of the other enemies first, try and get out of the way if you can when uh, he does a big attack. And uh, hopefully, I should—I was going to say regenerate some health sometimes. So. Get out of the way. The headbutt is one of the most powerful attacks in the game, so it's well, well worth uh, you know just doing the headbutt uh, when you can. Go. And uh, let's get rid of this guy first. That. I think my combo's a little bit slow in Chicken Soup 2. That seems a bit slower. Ah, damn it. There we go. Okay, I will grab. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. I think I need to stop from this one and uh, there we go, just drop over there. Uh, if you land in that portal, this happens and you can't get that chest, obviously. So uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. So thanks for watching. Next time uh, we'll see maybe the fate of the Alabrije who has escaped. So thanks for watching, everyone, and bye bye.